In 1990, several actors appeared in commercials for products like Coke and Pepsi. Now, you probably wouldn't have noticed them back then, but today they're among Hollywood's best-known leading men. Pay close attention because there will be a quiz. Take a look. See if you can spot them. MC Hammer, rap star and Pepsi drinker. Well, today, we secretly replaced his Pepsi with Coke. Feelings, nothing more than feelings. Hammer! Problem. What's bad, what's right? An underdog, that heavyweight fight? And we all felt a little closer. That's right, it's a cooler world. Save it, it's time to test your knowledge. Okay. I have the first yeah. question right here. Uh -huh. Which one of the follow following celebrities did not appear in one of those commercials that we just saw? A, Harrison Ford, B, Brad Pitt, C, Adrian Brody. You have to wait till the Clutch question is the question. Or D, David Duchovny. Dave. Harrison. It was Harrison Ford. Oh! oh. <laughs> yeah, it was <laughs> just so low. Nice. He's telling me about the rules and then he cheats. Harrison All right, gentlemen, Ford. gentlemen, there are plenty of other questions, and you are correct. Harrison Ford was not yes. in those commercials. <laughs> Brad Pitt was. Mm -hmm. He was in the. He was in the. Uh, he was Westworld. in the jeans. The Levi's jeans right, right, commercial. Right, right. Adrian Brody, did you guys? He was in him? the audience. In the MC Hammer Pepsi commercial. Correct, on That's the right. That's good because yep. that was yeah. quick. Yep. And David Duchovny was in. In the Michelob or Seagram commercial. Seagram commercial. Right. Whoa. Dang. Very good. Very nice. I didn't recognize it. Question number two. Top up. Okay. Give someone else an opportunity here. Mm -hmm. Who was named People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive in 1990? Mm -hmm. Kevin Costner, Tom Cruise, Patrick Swayze, or Richard Gere? Russ? Uh, Kevin Costner. No. Ah, Richard Gere. Nope. Patrick Swayze. No, Tom Cruise. <laughs> <laughs> he was in Days Man. of Thunder this in 1990. Top Gun had just happened mm -hmm. in 1986, and mm -hmm. Born on the Fourth of July had happened the year before. Next question. All right. Who won Time Magazine's Person of the Year honors? In 1990, who was named, I should say, Person of the Year in 1990? Nelson Mandela. Yeah. Negative. No. Um, Gorbachev. No, George H. W. Bush, wow. because they they praised his foreign policy, but they criticized his domestic policy. It was like the two sides mm -hmm. of President Bush. Wow. Mm. Mm. I didn't realize that? I was asleep, asleep through 1970. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay, I have another opportunity for you. Okay, introduced to the masses in 1974, this device was extremely popular in 1990 with more than 22 million people using it. Can we come back out live for a minute? Because I think it's better to just, does anybody have any idea what this oh, is? Sure. We remember. I remember it was a pager, of course. Yeah, the yeah. beeper. Yeah. Some yeah. people at home, believe it or not, were probably going, Mommy, what's that? At yeah. the very top, it would have the phone number. Yeah, and if you had one, you were either a surgeon or you were cool. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Which were you? I was neither. <laughs> <laughs> well, then it became wildly, wildly, wildly popular. Yeah, right. Right. yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. And I think doctors still use it. Because it would go off and you go, mm. Right, oh, I have yeah, to go. How, how cool I have I? to go. Exactly. Cool. Right. All right, 30 more seconds, so I have time for another one. What was the top grossing, maybe even two, top grossing film of 1990? Pretty Woman, Ghost, Home Alone, Dances with Wolves. Oh, Home Alone. Yeah, Home Alone, right? Dances with Wolves won the Academy Award. <laughs> but Home Alone was the top grossing film. I'm just of trying to help. <laughs> All right, 15 seconds, come on. No, that's it, we gotta mm. tease uh -huh. the web. If you'd like to learn more about 1990, go to our website, earlycshow.cbsnews.com.